orange and vanilla. By far the perfect combination, the perfect pair. Also a classic frozen summer treat. It may only be March, but we're starting summer early today. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking, Kim, it's not summer. And for all of you that live in Chicago, Kim, it's not even close to being summer. I, kn I know, I know. But we need a little bit of happiness in our lives. And what better brings happiness than Creamsicle's Summer Frozen Treat? And in order to make these, we're going to do the divide and color macaroon batter, dyeing one side orange and the other side white. And we're gonna be filling these with a citrus mascarpone whipped cream filling, yes. You heard me right. We'll be using fresh navel oranges and fresh Madagascar vanilla beans. Only the best for my best. So let's go ahead and get right to it because summer cannot come fast enough. <sighs> to start this off as usual, we're going to simultaneously make our meringue and sift our almond flour and our confectioner sugar together. Now this is the French meringue method and you have to let these rest no matter what anybody tells you. So we're going to add our egg whites to the bowl of a mixer as well as our cream of tartar and the salt. Let that go on high for a little bit so that the eggs foam up. Now, while the mixer's running, you can add your granulated sugar. I just turned this off for sound purposes, but add your granulated sugar. And then you're going to let this mix until hard, stiff, firm peaks, almost like clotted. And while that's finishing mixing, we're going to sift our almond flour and our confectioner sugar. So add your almond flour and your confectioner sugar to a sifter slash strainer and push this sucker all the way through. If you need to use a spatula to help it get through, by all means, get it through. And I only sift it once. I know some people need to sift it um, more than once, but I've listed the ingredients I use, the specific brands, so I've never had, I've never needed to sift it more than once. Other than the resting period, the meringue can take um, the longest amount of time in this recipe. So you just wanna be patient. Once it looks kind of like clotted like this, you know, you don't want it to curl over like that. That's still too soft. Like this is perfect for my recipe and for my method. It's ready to be folded into your dry ingredients. Add it all at once, my darlings. Gently fold in your meringue. And we're gonna undermix this one because we're going to do the divide and color method. And we're going to make a two-toned French macaroon. Sometimes people call these the swirl macaroon, but I don't think these really look swirly because it's just two different colors. So we are coloring one half white for the cream. Into the other half, we're actually going to do a combination of the white gel food color and the orange gel food color to kind of get that creamy orange creamsicle color. Then you're gonna transfer each color to their own individual piping bag. You don't need to cut the ends, the tips yet. Just wait, tie them up. And then in a third pastry bag, you're gonna put a large round tip in. And the white and the orange, you're gonna cut the two tips off, slide it into the bag with the large round tip, and then pipe onto a baking sheet, a half sheet pan with a non-stick silicone mat here. I'm using pre-traced circles. And then you're gonna give it a tap against the counter, pop all the air bubbles, and let it rest for about one hour or until a skin develops. Then you're gonna transfer it to an oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 15 minutes. If you wanna rotate them halfway through, you can, and be sure to bake on a double sheet pan. This helps with the browning, especially when we're doing a white macaron shell. Once those are finished, allow them to cool completely before filling them. For the filling, we're bringing out the big guns here. We're using fresh navel oranges and we're actually using Madagascar vanilla beans. Kind of expensive, not really cheap, but oh, so elegant. This is a simple recipe, so I wouldn't cut any corners here. I would use the most incredible ingredients. And we're using mascarpone cheese. I really like to stabilize my whipped creams with mascarpone cheese. I think it makes the filling last longer and the macaroon shells are really heavy, so it doesn't weigh down the whipped cream. These are 
These are one of my favorite ingredients, but you have to be careful because if you use too much, they can taste a little chemically. In order to cut a vanilla bean, you just slice it down the center, you peel back the sides, and use the dull end of your knife to scrape out the beans. What's cool about vanilla beans is that if you're doing like a, a creme anglaise or a liquid, you can throw the whole bean in there after you've scraped it out and let it get out the remnants. In the bowl of a mixer, combine your heavy cream, fresh vanilla bean, and confectioner sugar and whip on high until it forms soft, firm peaks. Then at this point, keep the mixer going and add about a third at a time of your mascarpone cheese and let that mix thoroughly. Then add your grated orange zest. Now, you don't really wanna add orange juice to this because it will curdle the mascarpone cheese and deflate the air out of the whipped cream mixture. I transferred the mascarpone citrus whipped cream to a piping bag with this ruffly piping tip. I will post the link to this exact tip in the caption below. Fill your max and then it's optional, but you can add a little bit of orange zest on top before you put the top shells on. I would then transfer these to the refrigerator and let them set up a little bit. And when you're ready to consume, just bring them to room temperature for about 15 minutes and that's it, voila. And there you have a taste of your childhood. It just makes everything a little bit better when things taste nostalgic, don't you think? You can smell the orange and the vanilla bean. They're sweet and citrusy. And for all of you out there that love citrus sweet things, you are in luck because these will hit the spot. Summer and spring just doesn't come quick enough here in Chicago, does it? Well, it does today. Cheers.